from beautifully blended harmonies to brilliant lyrics with an unpredictable twist, Grief Cat creates music that's hilarious and thought-provoking. And now they are performing in Chicago for the very first time, and they're inviting you to step inside their world. Louisa and Annie, join us with more. Thanks for being here. Hi, thanks Thank for you. having us. First Hi. of all, we got a comment on the outfit. Amazing. Look at this. Every video, you guys are always wearing matching outfits, and the shoes bedazzled yourselves. Oh. Yes, yes, hand bedazzled. No way. I mean, come yeah. on. Got to get that arch support. <laughs> yeah. So tell us how Grief Cat started. So we met in 2015 at a variety show, and we were both solo musicians at the time. Mm. And I had a song called Barista Boyfriends. And I had a song called Hot Park Ranger. And <laughs> so we wrote the same songs. We both liked hot people with jobs. And it was either become one or kill each other. <laughs> I just love that you both like finish each other's sentences. So you combined forces and became a superpower, yes. basically. Oh, yes. We're just a unit. Yes. So you've just released a new album. We have. Late okay. Stage Capitalism. Tell us about it. Uh, so Late Stage Capitalism is a collection of songs that really look at how capitalism has invaded all the different areas of our life. Um, but it's, it's a funny look. It's a fun look. Okay. So we just uh, raging against the machine while trying to live inside of it. <laughs> I mean, let's give people an idea of some of the songs we're going to be hearing on this album. Just hearing the names, I think, will give people an idea of the funny that ensues in these in these lyrics. But give us a, a feel of some of them. Oh, uh, we've got a song about cryptocurrency. <laughs> we've got a song about like a cryptocurrency uh, bro. Yeah, yeah right? crypto, crypto, crypto bro. Brad is so crypto specific, bro. and yeah. immediately it conjures an image up in my mind that I know exactly who you're talking about. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, we also joke about the fact that a lot of bands don't want to sell out, but we are not that band. So yeah. we have a song Actively about actively trying. You know, uh, made up all of uh, corporate slogans for uh, somebody to sponsor us. <laughs> Yeah, oh <laughs> lots of treats there. I mean, here's the thing. It's funny, it's witty, but it's also super smart. So, Thank you. I mean, Thank you. have you been surprised at the reception that you've gotten from your audience? Uh, I think it has been a little bit surprising because we've had a lot of videos and content take off online and it's honestly just been really gratifying and fun and we've been able to connect with a lot of people and even go on this tour and, and leave our hometown. So it's been really fun. I mean, we have to tell people about one of the songs. One of the lyrics, is, <laughs> it cracked me up when I'm watching it and it's one of your ones that has one of the most views, 15 million views for yeah. this song. I took a dump at work, pooped on the company dime. <laughs> I mean, these, <laughs> the people, yeah. it's so relatable that people are like, yes. Yeah. Were you surprised when that got so popular? That was the first song that ever went viral for us, and we were like, wait a second, yeah. what's happening? <laughs> yeah. It's like that kid's book, Everybody Poops. Everybody, yeah. Everybody does. Time, the most relatable concept. Yeah. 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 Questlove commented on that one, too, oh which, is, which is pretty funny. Um, and the song is called Revolution, Poop at Work, because it's those <laughs> tiny little acts that all add up. <laughs> So <laughs> where does the grief cat name come from? So it's based on the German concept of Kummerspeck, which I'm probably mispronouncing. You know this. Yes. So it means grief bacon or the weight one gains from emotional eating. So I went through a very bad breakup a few years ago Aww. and uh, I gained a cat. So I, I called it my grief cat. <laughs> And that's where the name oh, came from. Yeah, that I met sense. her grief cat. She called it her grief cat. And I was like, well, that's our band name. There we Easy. go. Yeah. Exactly done. <laughs> I love those um, foreign words that we don't have the equivalent of oh, yeah. in English. And they're so meaningful because we all know what that is. We all know what a grief cat is. Absolutely. The grief bacon. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a, it's a thing. 100%. Yep. And he's still, you know, happy, alive. He's our logo. Oh, oh yeah. Cute. Do you guys <laughs> feel like you've amassed this set of groupies now and they're singing along to these songs when you're performing? We've got a few. There's yeah. actually a group of people just got tattoos, which was like a really Stop exciting it. thing. Yeah. So of what? Uh, it was of the, the, of our of logo. logo. The cat. So it was my cat is now gracing Aww. the body of at least five people. That is so <laughs> incredible. Oh yeah, God. it's a real honor. So We're really, cute. really honored about my that. Goodness. Well, but do you have tattoos of it or no? No, absolutely okay. not. No. <laughs> we, should, we should work on that. They're going to us. They're going to do that yeah. once they get the big corporate check upon exactly. Out. I just ordered right. a big McDonald's right here. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Loving it. Call Thanks. me. Yeah. Thanks to Louisa and Annie. Grief Cat is at the Beat Kitchen. What a great venue. Tomorrow at 8 p.m. For tickets and more information, just head to griefcat.com or find them on social media. <laughs>